With the support of CHOP, my daughter Amanda defeated AMPS. She went from using crutches to becoming a varsity athlete. Let's hear her story. Ron Gerber here. Amanda Gerber here. We want to talk to you about the tremendous work that CHOP does in helping kids beat AMPS, which is a god-awful disease. Amanda, how did you get AMPS? So about four years ago, I was skiing on the last run of the entire vacation, but of course I completely wiped out. Oh, and I apparently sprained my ankle, which was wrong. So as the parents, we got real nervous. You came down on the sled. The x-ray showed no broken bones, no torn ACL. We think everything's okay, just really bad bruise. But Amanda, could you even put on a sock or even walk on your leg when you got home? Mm -mm -mm. No, she was really depressed and in big time pain. Fortunately, what did our doctor say about a rare disease that he only read about in med school? So it's this disease called AMPS, which stands for Amplified Musculoskeletal Pain Syndrome. <gasps> which is a mouthful to say, isn't it? It's a mouthful to say. It's even worse to suffer from. You heard it here, folks. Um, so so the thing that, about this disease, just to describe it, basically her neural network and her synapses got all messed up with this injury. Didn't break a bone, didn't rip a tendon, but it reoriented and disrupted all the nerve flow. So her brain thinks her leg is totally screwed up when it's fine. For example, um, so I had to be taken out of school for all the pain I was having and I would try and play with my dog and he would walk past my leg, but his fur brushing on my leg would feel like knives stabbing me. Not too pleasant, is it? Absolutely not. Fortunately, our doctor had heard about this disease. You know, he's been in practice for 20 years, had never treated anyone. It's that rare. But he says, I think you've got AMPS. And even though we're based in New York with some of the finest hospitals in the world are, he says, you need to go to CHOP because I read that they're the only place that treats us. So we were so fortunate in getting that recommendation. Part of the reason we're asking you to support CHOP and specifically the AM program is because there were so many other kids who don't get diagnosed correctly, who deal with this for years and it totally disrupts their childhood and carries over to adulthood. Mandy, did you have some kids like that in the program with you who had suffered with this? You were, quote unquote, fortunate only dealing with AMS for a couple of months, which were god awful, until you got into the treatment. But weren't there other kids who suffered uh, with it for years because the doctors prescribed opiates, uh, the doctors thought it was just arth pediatric arthritis, stuff like that? Yes, absolutely. So there were about five to six kids in the program at a time. And I would say like four or five out of the six would have been diagnosed with diseases like arthritis or they would have been prescribed like a bunch of like painkillers, which is the wrong way to treat it. So obviously they've been struggling with the di with a disease that they don't even have and getting the wrong treatment for it, which screws it up even more. Yeah. And one of the things why your support is needed the treatment for this is full-time immersion. You need a comprehensive team of occupational therapists, physical therapists, aquatic therapists. Therapists. Just in general, cognitive therapists, behavioral therapists, all of the above, plus incredibly competent medical personnel um, to guide these children through it because they basically, it's almost like they have to learn how to walk again. Literally. And, literally. My first day there at CHOP, I was on crutches for about three months, but my first day there, they take away my crutches and I'm already having to learn how to retrain my brain to walk again. As I describe it, Amanda, through her sheer force of will, had to work through the pain, but there's no way she could do that on her own. You needed the medical guidance, the support of the CHOP infrastructure. So when you go out there, when you think about, there's one institution in America, this is a fairly rare disease, we think, but the problem is it gets misdiagnosed with kids constantly coming in for treatment. And the problem is there's only so many spots. I mean, literally they can only fit five or six kids at a time into the program because it's basically a five or six, seven week program. I mean, Amanda was out of school for almost two months before CHOP and then she was out of school for almost another two months while she was in CHOP. But that's a four month sacrifice that we have to make because it enabled her to be 
the incredibly powerful athletic woman. She is now playing varsity volleyball as a ninth grader. It is just mind boggling the impact that CHOP had in fixing this terrible disease and positioning Amanda for success for the rest of her life. But tragically, there are probably hundreds if not thousands of kids who need your financial support so CHOP can expand their efforts and outreach to curing many more kids, not just the individuals like my daughter who have been fortunate in only dealing with AMPS for four to six months, as opposed to other kids who deal with this for four to six years. Please help CHOP fix and help other kids like my daughter. Thank you for your support. It really means a lot to kids like me who struggle with the, this disease, especially since it is a chronic disease. Despite that, CHOP also helps us kids learn how to deal with it as we grow up and help us grow as people. And it's just a great program to support. And they're always looking for ways that you can help, like, like finding more staff and getting the resources, which is like donations. So just please help. Great. Thank you. The Gerber is signing off. The Gerbers are signing off. Huge fans of CHOP, please be generous with your funds to help other parents not endure what we endured. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Oh my God, we did.